Jesus. Meanwhile, in the yeah. National <laughs> Football League's right National Football Conference Eastern Division, it is front and center, right there. The New York Football Giants, home of the running back pay scale controversy. I understand Las Vegas is in that boat with Josh Jacobs and 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 the aforementioned Jerry Jones with Tony Pollard, but there's with all due respect to those last two running backs, Saquon's different. Saquon had a dynamite college career that everybody watched. Saquon was a second overall pick in the draft. Saquon should have been comeback player of the year last year. He lost out to Geno Smith. Could you imagine you're the one who goes through the knee rehab and all the questions about your abilities any longer because your body can't hold up to the rigors of the National Football League and you're a quadzilla and you're like, are you kidding me? My body's not going to stand up. I just got unlucky in Soldier Field and I got unlucky on other days in the NFL. I'm the one who's washed up. I'll show them. And you lose comeback player of the year to a guy who wins it because he's coming back from the bench. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Geno Smith won comeback player of the year, and he was healthy the year before. <laughs> yeah. And the year before that? You're coming back from being overlooked. That. You're coming back from lack of opportunities. That's what you're coming back from? Okay. So, <laughs> Saquon, I think people saw last year in the playoffs. So all year long, Dayball was able to roll the dice in places like Tennessee in week one and roll out Daniel Jones, all filled with confidence in the first week of the playoffs in Minnesota because of the consistency all year long thanks to somebody who showed up and had his best season, most consistent season, I'm not talking about Daniel Jones. I'm talking about Saquon Barkley. And then the other reason why people focus in on him is because he's such a good dude. Yeah. He is exactly who you want to be the face of your franchise. Exactly the guy that you want to be the second overall pick coming into your community and ingratiating himself in that community because he's so available. And now he is reduced to bitterness by this whole process. What's the name of this podcast again? Sorry, I'm... The Money Matters Podcast. Money my, matters. My, there's no disrespect to those who run the Money Matters Podcast. I, you know, I, I do believe money does matter. Okay, <laughs> and as you know, I'm 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 a big podcast guy. Yeah. All right, uh, but Saquon said this, I believe, in the days leading up to the franchise tag being the one that he has to play under, or not at all. And you could see he was already getting exasperated before time even ran out. This got posted earlier this week. This is my leverage. My leverage is I can say F you to the Giants. I can say F you to my teammates and be like, you want me to show you my worth? You want to show you how much how valuable I am to the team? I won't show up. Right. I won't play it down. And that's a that's a that's a that's a play I can use. Do I anybody knows me knows that's not something I want to do. But like it's something that has it something that crossed my mind. It's like I has never to. I never thought I would ever do that, but like now I'm at a point where it's like Jesus, like I, I might have to take it to this level and like am i willing am i prepared to take it to the level i don't know that's something i gotta sit down and like i gotta sit, sit, talk to my family i gotta sit down and talk to my team gotta really you know strategize about this can't just like go off of emotion i can go there i can go to war try to get as much money as i can but yeah. at the end of the day like like i said what, what really matters is winning and winning a championship and i know if i'm able to help bring a championship to new york that's going to go miles, miles more ahead than this contract. So congratulations to the New York football giants, um, you know, who um, I I've, I've grew up watching this organization and knowing this organization and knowing, you know, the owners of the organization and what they stand for and who they are. And, um, and um, 
I, 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 it takes no, uh, I, I do not take any um, pleasure in saying this, but congratulations to them. They, they took Saquon Barkley and, and made him the a-hole. That's what they did. Walter Payton, Man of the Year nominee for the Giants in February. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we got to think about you long term. Uh, we got to pause. We got to we got to mind our P's and Q's down the line about guaranteeing contracts and not giving you all of the guarantees and all of the stuff that you want. Yeah, we got to we got to hit the pause on it and make you swallow something that we know you don't want to swallow and turn you into the a hole. Like what 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 I just saw and heard from Saquon Barkley is so against his brand saying the words I've got to say F you to my teammates. I don't think I've ever heard him curse. (laughs) Is so beyond what he's about. But this whole scenario and sequence and emotional negotiation has caused him to say those words into a microphone. Congratulations. I'm assuming whatever was done, I, I don't know... That's the issue with commenting on stuff like this is I'm not in the room. I do not know what was asked for and what was rejected and what was agreed upon and what made it all fall apart at the end. I do not know. So if I am not completely aware of everything and the Giants do have a leg to stand on on this, I um, I apologize. But from this point of view, the public relations wise, for sure, um, you got a problem. The Giants, and I understand he comes back and he plays under the franchise tag and they go happy-go-lucky down the road in 2023. This isn't much of a conversation until 2024. I understand that. Because I do believe Saquon's going to show and he's going to play because he won't say F you to his teammates. He won't. He will not. And I think maybe the Giants know that deep down. And took a stance that eventually led them to look in the mirror or have a conversation in a meeting room and go, this isn't going to play well for us. And this doesn't play well maybe in the locker room for all the folks who love Saquon. And it doesn't play well, you know, um, with Saquon. But we've got to do this about year two. We can't give on year three. We can't do this sort of stuff. And, you know, we can't reset a market. We're not going to be that team to do it. And so it's better to stand our ground on this front and take the slings and arrows on that front rather than leave Saquon Barkley happy and not turning into somebody we don't recognize on a podcast. That's the phrase, you know, like, Hey, treat me right. Don't turn me into the Mm a-hole when you're the ones being that don't turn me into that dude, do the right thing. Well, Walter Payton, man of the year. (laughs) Nominee, Saquon Barkley. Just said that into a microphone. That's what this has devolved into. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 